U.S. and Canadian trade balance data is due for release today. Zoning in on the Canadian economy with me now is David Madani of Capital Economics. David, with last month's Canadian trade balance showing a surplus after three straight months of declines, how much additional scrutiny is this release under as an indicator to economic growth starting to take shape? The trade data has been under scrutiny for quite some time now as people sort of been waiting for signs of an export-led recovery and I think we will certainly see some tentative signs of that in March's trade figures. However, it is only one month of data and more generally when we look at the national account data, it's still pretty clear that Canada has a significant real trade deficit that isn't really improving. There's a fine line between Canada, exporters in particular, being able to piggyback onto improving U.S. economic activity and a significantly positive U.S. trade data tipping that balance, exacerbating a declining currency and damaging competitiveness. What is your stance on this relationship? Canada typically um, benefits from an improving U.S. economy and typically what that means is Uh, you would expect to see, if anything, uh, some appreciation of uh, the Canadian dollar. Um, But what we're seeing right now, I think, is a a weaker link between Canada and the U.S. economic activity. Um, And as a result of that, we're seeing some narrowing in interest rate differentials, which is putting uh, some downward pressure on the Canadian dollar, so uh, a depreciating currency. Now, of course, that at the margin helps Canada's exporters because it essentially amounts to a slight improvement in competitiveness. But from an historical perspective, the Canadian dollar is still at a fairly high level, and so we're not expecting really um, to see a sort of a strong surge in Canada's exports uh, any time this year. David, what then is your forecast for Canada's trade balance figure today? Um, Around... 0.6 0.6 billion. So, um, you know, a modest improvement from the 0.3 we saw in the previous month. Some of that is prices related. It's not all uh, an improvement in underlying volumes. We've touched upon already a declining loony dollar that still remains overvalued. At what level would you like to see the Canadian dollar at in order to support economic growth? Well, with commodities remaining fairly buoyant. Um, We're not expecting the Canadian dollar to decline a lot more uh, this year. We wouldn't be surprised to see it come back a little bit more. But I think the Canadian dollar really would have to fall into the 70 cent range for that really to turn the tables, if you will, um, and sort of um, improve the export outlook. Um, But we, we really don't see that happening, and that's why we're not really expecting Uh, Canada's export uh, outlook to improve greatly this year. David, that's all we've got time for right now, but many thanks for your comments. Don't go away. The Dukascopy TV team will be back shortly with plenty more exclusive interviews for you. From me, though, it's goodbye for now.